OK, so in this video, we are going to look at sketching y equals x plus 1 over x plus 2 and y equals x plus 3 on the same axes, identifying any points of intersection. Now, if you're going to be sketching two graphs on the same axes um, like this, then it makes sense to work out where and if they intersect first. Um, because otherwise, you might erroneously just draw a straight line graph that intersects the uh, other curve like twice, and then you might find out that it only actually intersects once, or that it doesn't intersect at all. Okay, so it's um, it's good practice to try and find the points of intersection first. Uh, that then that will inform your sketch. So. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put x plus 1 over x plus 2 equal to x plus 3. And I'm going to solve this equation Okay, and see what we get. So I'm going to multiply up by x plus 2. So x plus 1 equals x plus 2 times x plus 3. So I'm going to need to expand that out. x squared plus 5x plus 6. Move everything onto the right-hand side of your equation. So x squared plus 4x plus 5. OK. Now, if I put that into my calculator's solve function, so 1, 4, 5, we get minus 2 plus or minus i. So actually, we get complex roots for the quadratic. So there are no points of intersection. Uh, between the two graphs. Okay, so I now know they don't intersect. That's useful. Okay, so let's draw the rational function first, because that's the more complicated one to deal with. So y equals x plus 1 over x plus 2, that's going to have a vertical asymptote when x equals minus 2. So x equals minus 2. And it's going to cross the x-axis when the numerator is 0, so at minus 1. And it's going to cross the y-axis when x is 0 at 1 over 2, so 1 half. And we can work out the horizontal asymptote by dividing top and bottom by x. So y is equal to 1 plus 1 over x over 1 plus 2 over x. So as x gets larger and larger in either direction, these two fractions will tend to 0, and we'll have 1 over 1. So y equals 1 is a horizontal asymptote. So the curve must do something like this. Let's uh, marry up my points of intersection there. And the rest of the graph is up here. Almost got it. There we are. So then... We need to draw the other line, y equals x plus 3. Okay, So minus 2, 1 is actually going to be going through that point, isn't it? Um, because minus 2 plus 3 is 1. So it's actually going through that point of intersection of the two asymptotes. So it looks... Oh, it's always tricky doing this. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. There we are, something like that. Easier to do on paper. So that point um, is going to be minus 3. That point's going to be 3. That's your y equals x plus 3. OK? And so this is what the curve and the line will look like uh, side by side on the same axes. And I'm afraid they don't intersect.